It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hop and Stoffer. It's a Comet IPA. Uh, it's described as a triple hop craft beer. It's 6.8% ABV and 55 IBUs. There's a look at the beer. It's got a little bit of a Breaking Bad theme going on, especially with the the chemistry letter going on there. Um, Brow Bad Rafnu. Hafner on the bottle cap. My pronunciation of German is awful, you'll have to excuse me. There we go. Right, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. And um, while it's refocusing on me, um, check out beerdeluxe.de. Um, beer Deluxe, absolutely fantastic beer store from Germany. They're very kind each month. To send us a parcel of beer. Um, it's not all German beer, they send us beer from America, they send us Italian beer. I've got some Japanese craft beer from them which will be coming up shortly. Um, but yeah check out beers of you. beerdeluxe.de So a bottle condition beer. Two fingers of slightly off white head a lovely colour, a lovely colour to the IPA. Look at that, it's a lovely kind of, it looks like grapefruit juice in a glass. It's quite hazy, there's a lot of suspended yeast in the glass. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side. And yes, it's that classic hazy amber colour. Okay, let's get the aroma. Oh, blimey, blimey. That smells wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It smells so tropical, but so pungent. It's so aromatic. Oh, I could stand and smell this beer all day, but I'm not going to. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, guys. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Just reviewed a pale ale on the bounce with straight on the back with an IPA and it's taken it to the next level. And I hoped that it would do that and it has. This beer is so grapefruity, it's so flavoursome. The bitterness on the back end is roaring at you. Um, probably something to do with the freshness of the beer. It's probably a really good fresh IPA sent over from Germany. Oh, blimey, it's still, the, 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 the bitterness is still clawing up my throat, but it's, it's a wonderful sensation. You've got it really well, really well done, really well made. Um, you get your peach, your mango, but lots of kind of citrusy vitamin C flavours coming through. Lots of kind of acidic vitamin C flavours, like your, your grapefruit, like you're biting into a grapefruit or you're biting into a lemon peel. It's that sharpness, that, sharp, that sourness that comes through. Mmm. That is wonderful. And I get really excited as well by German craft beer. Um, it was only earlier on this year that I tried my first ever German craft beer. Um, we've tried beer from all over the world. And of course Germany with their traditional styles, their Dunkels, their Weiss beers, uh, and, and lots of other styles of beer that they brew. Um, it's good to see that, that some of the Maybe the younger, we could call them the younger brewer, the younger generation of brewer are coming through and they're, they're producing great big IPAs and pale ales. It, it, it's fantastic to see and it's fantastic to experience and, and start this journey uh, with, with these young German craft brewers. That is a mesmerising beer. And it always is, it always is going to be a mesmerising IPA because Germans they've been brewing beer forever you know if they're gonna nail a style straight away they're gonna do it you know it's like the Belgians if the Belgian people got into brewing 55 IBU beers you know through their heritage that they're just gonna get on with it and they're gonna produce great beers and I suppose that's the frustrating part of Belgium is I suppose there are some younger breweries out there but they're not really embracing 
the, the craft beer scene that's going on around the world. They, they're talking about heritage and, and they're talking about their traditions. Whereas there's all of that in Germany, but the, now there's this kind of breakout group that are producing fine IPAs like this. Hopfenstoffer Comet IPA, triple hop craft beer. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. I'm going to rate it. I'm, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Check it out, beerdeluxe.de. Wonderful stuff. 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Cheers.